It's Halloween, so we're bringing things back from the dead with Pauper Reanimator, Ulamog's Crusher, Troll of Kazadoom. Let's go do it. This video is proudly sponsored by Card Market. This is Pauper Reanimator, and the idea is that ideally you want to put an Ulamog's Crusher onto the table on turn one or turn two. You also have Gloomfang Mauler alongside Troll of Kazadoom. How you get them onto the table? You have Exhum, and then you have Dread Return. Okay, so you have eight reanimate effects here in Pauper. But how do you get your creatures to the graveyard? Ulamog's Crusher is the only creature that doesn't cycle. The other eight all put themselves to the graveyard. Ulamog's Crusher, though, has Scrapwork Mutt, Insolent Neonate, and then Faithless Looting. You have Duress to hopefully discard removal spells or counter spells. And the idea here is that the large creatures in play, if done quickly, will overwhelm the opponent. Other lists in the past have played things like Dragon's Breath or Bitter Reunion. I found those cards to be kind of stinky, so we're not playing them today. Instead, we're just focusing on doing what we want to do efficiently. In the sideboard, we have Unexpected Fangs for Mono Red. Same thing with Drowned in Sorrow. I recorded a video not too long ago with Weather the Storm combo, where I had Drowned in Sorrow and Weather the Storm plus, you know, large creatures in the sideboard, and that crushed Mono Red the whole league. So we're hoping to do the same thing today with Ulamog's Crusher, Unexpected Fangs, and Drowned in Sorrow. We have Pyroblast for Counterspell matchups and Cast into the Fire for Graveyard Hate. That is the plan. That's what we're doing today. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the first match. Don't go anywhere. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, early access to videos, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us like theepicsforum.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via theepicsforum.com slash donation dax that's enough for now let's play some magic time for the first match we're on the draw and this hand doesn't have a land but i'm going to keep it anyway so we have insolent neonate that we could play off of simian spirit guide and then we have lotus petal for our black mana and an exhum so if i draw a land for my draw step or off of the insolent neonate i have a turn one ulamog's crusher that's what i'm here for let's do it they have a turn one bridge okay let's see it land that was not a land. All right, well, exile the spirit guide, Neonate. Come on, deck, don't fail me now. Discard the crusher. We hit the land. Life is good. Okay. Turn one, Ulamog's crusher, match one, game one. That's what I'm here for. Let's go. Come on, just concede the game. There we go. Speed running, baby. All right, game number two. I think that this is affinity, so we'll want cast into the fire. Uh, they sometimes even have main deck Nile spell bombs, which is pretty scary. All right, so the plan against Affinity is we want to slow down just a tad. We'll slideboard out a couple copies of Dark Ritual and maybe like a Faithless Looting. In fact, I'm actually kind of low on Faithless Looting, which seems crazy because the card is so good it's banned in Modern. But when you're not playing things like Dragon's Breath, you don't actually want to discard two cards and it's card disadvantage. So I considered something like Bitter Reunion over it. But I still think that Faithless Looting only being one mana is better than the alternatives. This is a turn to Troll of Kazadoom, and we have a Cast into the Fire. Let's go. Yeah, this hand's great. We'll play Mountain, pass the turn. Faithless Looting. Okay, is this the Rakdos Burn deck? Two Sneaky Snackers. On the end step, we'll cycle Troll of Kazadoom. Go grab a Swamp. Should I just exile their land? I kind of think so. Exile your land. Pass the turn. They drew another. Before we exile the next one, let's play Duress and see what they're working with here. We'll take, grab the prize, and we'll exile their other land. I didn't know that I was signing up uh, for this league to play land destruction, but here I go. No land. Ulamog's Crusher, though that's going to seal the deal here. Discard the Crusher. We draw another Crusher. We'll play Exhum. Too easy. 
Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Round number two, we are hoping for another explosive start. Here we have Lotus Petal and we have Exhum. We don't have any way to get our Crushers to the graveyard. We also don't have any land, so we're going to take a Mulligan. Okay, so we have a large creature here. What we don't have as a way to reanimate. I think we should go to five. This is better than our six. I'll keep bottom the Dread Return and Duress. I don't think on five we can afford to keep Duress here. So I'm going to play the Lotus Petal, and then we'll pass. So we can have a turn two, seven, seven, Gloomfang Mauler. Bridge, okay. End step, we will cycle the Mauler. Grab Basic Swamp. And another Exhum. So even if they have cast down here, we could just reanimate the Mauler. Not bad for a Mulligan to five. Pass the turn. And if I draw into something like Faithless Looting, we could put Ulamog's Crusher onto the table. All right, it is Affinity. We'll play Duress. I think you're supposed to take the Icar Wellspring here. Swing. They play a Bridge. And Thought Cast. Another Swamp. All right, so next turn we're representing Lethal. Swing. Did we get their opponent? Are you going to concede? They play a Tap Land. I think in hindsight, when I mulliganed, I should have kept the duress we put on the bottom, and I should have bottomed the Ulamog's Crusher. So, slight misplay I made this game, but I don't know if it ultimately would have mattered all that much. This thing having Menace is also just like a 7-7 that has to be blocked by two creatures. It's also black, so it can't die to snuff out. Like, this card is so good. Refurbish Familiar. You're going to let me discard my Ulamog's Crusher? That's very generous of you. And a Kark Clan Shaman. So they will be able to block. Let's play Exhum. Play the Bog. And now they have to block with both creatures. Okay. Good luck. You need like double cast down here. Blood Fountain. Mirror Enforcer. They have three cards in hand and one of them is a makeshift munitions. I guess they just want to see us attack. They sacrifice Blood Fountain and the Blood Token. You still can't block the Mauler, unless you have cast down for the Mauler here. Reckoner's Bargain, so that will gain them seven life. So now they go down to six. We'll hard cast a Samin Spirit Guide. They play Icar Wellspring. A land, so they, I mean, they've managed to stay in this game. Reckoner's Bargain, sacrificing the Wellspring, so that gives them enough life to live through the Mauler here. So they just need a one mana blocker for the Crusher, and they don't find it. Okay, that game was more competitive than I would have guessed. We'll bring in Cast into the Fire again. Same plan, we'll side out a couple copies of Dark Ritual. And one copy of Faithless Looting. I'm still not sure about the Faithless Looting. It could also be Simeon Spirit Guide. But when your deck only has 12 lands, 4 Lotus Petals, and 4 Simeon Spirit Guides, you really don't want to board them all out. Or like any initial mana sources, I should say. Alternatively, I could... Just like sideboard down one mutt. But yeah, let's try boarding out a scrapwork mutt here instead. Game number two. We're obviously going to keep this very powerful hand. So we have turn one duress off of the swamp. Into turn two cycle troll of Kazadoom. Or actually we have turn one troll here. Okay, I'm going to take turn one troll. I could even duress first. If that's something we want. But I think it probably is. What's the play? I think it's take a copy of Icar Wellspring. And now we'll cycle the troll. Go grab Geothermal Bog. Exile the Simeon Spirit Guide and we'll bring back the troll on turn one. On turn three, I'll be able to play Cast Into the Fire on one of their lands. Now they play the other copy of Icar Wellspring. I'd love to draw an untapped mountain here. We did not. Play the Bog. We'll cycle Troll. We'll go get the other Geothermal Bog. And we'll attack for six. 
So we know about double mirror enforcer and a toxin analysis. Ah, uh, they drew extract a confession. Devastating. We'll play the bog. I think I'm going to try to hit their land here. Try to stop them from playing spells. Oh, wow. What a rip. They drew another Vault of Whispers. We drew Duress. We'll play it. They drew Dead... Our opponents had a couple of very good draw steps. Unfortunate for us here. Metallic Rebuke, Thought Cast, Triple Mirror Enforcer. I don't think we're going to come back from this. I think uh, them drawing an Extract Confession sealed this game. All right, so I've played the Insolent Neonate. Now we're passing the turn. They play another Icker Wellspring. They're trying to play Thoughtcast here, and they don't. I don't think they figured out how to do it. We'll attack, and I'm going to sacrifice the Neonate with the Troll and try to rip like a Dread Return. All right, I've fizzled out here. We're going to go to the next game. Uh, that was a brutal loss. Let's give it another go. Turn one, Ulamog's Crusher. Let's see it in game number three. On the play. So we could cycle troll. I mean, I don't think that this hand is ultimately good enough. I could like Dark Ritual into Scrapwork Mutt, but like, do I really want to make that play? I think you're supposed to send this back. So this is a turn one Gloomfang Mauler, right? No. Um... It's a turn one troll of Kazadoom. So we'll bottom the Scrapwork Mutt. And now we'll cycle troll of Kazadoom. Grab a basic swamp. Play the swamp. Dark ritual. And exhume. Pass the turn. Hopefully we draw an another exhume. And we do love it. Swing. Pass the turn. They play a land. Another extracted confession. You are not a nice person. Cycle the Gloomfang Mauler. We'll grab Swamp in case I draw Duress. And I actually did. Wow. All right. We'll take the cast down. Play the Swamp. Play Exhum. Bring back the Mauler. They're at 14 and this is a 7-7. Seven, seven. Pass. Please don't draw another removal spell. They play the Refurbished Familiar. I do not have a hand. They play Blood Fountain. So they have Deadly Dispute and two Unknowns in their hand here. Attack for seven. We'll play Lotus Petal and pass. So they can use Blood Fountain and then untap Deadly Dispute and try to draw into another blocker, which will buy them another turn. They discard a bridge I didn't know about. So Deadly Dispute, sacrifice Blood Fountain probably. We're hoping for no removal spells, no blockers. They have five cards in their hand. They play a bridge. Mirror Enforcer, so now they have the blockers to live. And Thought Cast. Alright, so if I could draw a cast into the fire, this game is over. Faithless Looting is not good enough here. Swing, they have to chump block with both. And we'll pass. Five cards in hand. They play Icker Wellspring. And a tap land. Our opponent says GG's. GG's opponent. It's a Halloween miracle. We're 2-0 with Rakdos Turbo Reanimator. Let's see if we get the next three. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. All right, match number three, we are on the play. All right, so we have Exhum. We have everything but a large creature and a black mana source. I think I'm going to try this. It seems a little crazy, but it has most of the good stuff. We'll play turn one insolent neonate and then pass. Forest into Slippery Bogle. We drew our black mana. You can't block. Swing. They play a Plains. A Bunny Growth. This is definitely a matchup where I need to draw Ulamog's Crusher because the other creatures might not be fast enough. Ethereal Armor. So now this is a 3-3 First Strike. Okay. Another Exhum. 
I guess we can attack first. We'll attack. Play Dark Ritual. Play Scrapwork Mutt. Discard a Duress. And we actually hit the Crusher. So now I will discard the Crusher and Exhume. Pass the turn. They play a Rumble. So this will give them an Eldrazi spawn that they could sacrifice to the Crusher. They found Ancestral Mask, which terrifies me, because that will make their creature larger than my Ulamog's Crusher. And that's how we lose this game. That said, they can't play it this turn, and I have a Duress in my hand. They take the Forest, and they play a Glade Cover Scout. So now they have two things they can sacrifice next turn. Or I guess I should say on my turn. We'll start by attacking with the Crusher, because our opponent doesn't have the information that I have Duress in hand. So it might change how they play the rest of this game. And they do get rid of the extra Bogle and then the Eldrazi spawn. I imagine they're going to take eight here. And now we'll play Duress. And they have nothing but creatures in hand. We'll play an Insolent Neonate. Pass the turn. They drew a land. Or was the land in their hand? Uh, no, they drew the forest. So they have three creatures they can play here. Uh, they play the Sentinel's Eyes from the Graveyard. That makes sense. They're now attacking. We'll take five. Troll of Cause of Doom. We'll go to combat. Swing with these. They have to sacrifice two permanents to the Annihilator trigger. They're going to block the Neonate? No. Okay, they decided against it, which is wise. So now they're at one. We'll cycle Troll of Cause of Doom. We'll grab a Swamp. And even though they have creatures in the graveyard, I believe my Troll of Kazudum is worth more than a Bogle. So we're just going to reanimate and pass here. They're at one life. They're dead to Insolent Neonate. Sentinel's Eyes, which we don't care about. And a Concession. Sweet. I don't think we're actually supposed to sideboard here. I believe our deck is set up for success already. So we should just resubmit. Like, you could bring in Drown in Sorrow, but the fact that it costs three mana is sort of a lot for this deck. And then, like, they outscale it very quickly. Like, one Ethereal Armor already makes it so that way Drown in Sorrow is a dead card. So I don't really want to bring that in. Instead, I just want to pedal to the metal, reanimate large things. This is a turn one, or I'm sorry, a turn one Troll of Kazadoom, or we can draw discard turn two Ulamog's Crusher. So this hand is definitely a keep. It's turn two Crusher, followed by turn three Troll of Kazudum, I believe. They play a forest into a Glade Cover Scout. Scrapwork Mutt. This is a turn one Crusher now. Let's go. Amazing draw. Dark Ritual. We'll play the Scrapwork Mutt. Discard Ulamog's Crusher. Draw another Crusher. Exhume. We're running hot right now. I love it. They play a forest. Utopia Sprawl. Two mana for a ledge walker. Sure. Another Mutt will attack. They have to sacrifice two permanents here. We'll cycle Troll of Cause of Doom. Go grab a Bog. We'll play Geothermal Bog and pass. Our opponent concedes the match. Let's go. All right. So now we are 3-0 with two matches left. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. For round number four, we've lost the die roll, but we've opened up a slow but steady hand. No turn one threat this time. But we do have just cycle consistency here. We have the ability to discard Troll of Kazu Doom, get a second land, play the Scrapwork Mutt. You could discard the Mauler, or you could just cycle it looking for land number four to hard cast the Dread Return. So there's a lot of different ways you could play this hand, but slow and steady seems okay to me. Uh, I mean, you could mulligan for a turn one creature. It's a little risky because it's tough to do. There's only four exhumes in the deck, but. I think that this is a hand that we're supposed to keep. What makes this hand a lot better is if you draw Dark Ritual. So we're hoping to draw Dark Ritual. Forest passes the turn. Simeon Spirit Guy, that's fine. We'll play Mountain and Pass. What are you playing? They cycle a Generous End. Okay, well, as the Exhumed deck, I don't like that. You should not have Generous End. 
That is illegal. I guess it's a good thing we have this dread return. Go grab a swamp. Ulamox Crusher. Another dread return. I think I'm going to just pass here and then cycle the Gloomfang Mauler. Land number three. Oh, it's elves. Okay. So Ulamox Crusher is highly preferable here. We might want to try to uh, Faithless Looting into it. We hit the Exhume. Let's play Looting. We did not find Crusher. I really don't want to give them a Generous End. We don't need five lands. We can get rid of one of those. And I think the Spirit Guy, because I can't play a Dread Return this turn, will play a Scrapwork Mutt, and I'll discard an Exhume. All right, pass. Yeah, the slow and steady plan was not right for this matchup. Land number four, they have three cards. We've drawn 25% of our deck, so hopefully we draw into our Crusher soon. Masked Vandal on my mud. So they're going to exile the Generous End? Okay. I don't mind that. Sure. I'll take one. Another Troll. I think we should just maximize our mana here, and I'll Dread Return on the Gloomfang Mauler. All right, we have a 7-7 Menace. Ooh, they had another Generous End. They were trying to be sneaky with the Exhume. Sneaky, sneaky, opponent. I see you. So they have a Forest in their hand that they have not played yet. Five mana for an Avenging Hunter. Yikes. Okay. Not the best spot for me here. They can give the Hunter plus two plus two using Timberwatch Elf. We'll attack with the Gloomfang Mauler. They're going to block. They target the Hunter here. So the Hunter is going to trade with my Mauler. We'll play the Mountain, play Dread Return on the Mauler, target itself again, and then we'll play Neonate. They're going to put two plus one plus one counters on the Masked Vandal. So now it's a three five. If they play another Elf, they can just block my Mauler for a long time. They have three cards in their hand. Land number six. I feel like I need to get this first game in order to win the match, but it's not looking very good for me here. Nyxborn Hydra and another Masked Vandal. So now they can give their creatures plus three. They have no cards in hand. We'll attack with the Gloomfang Mauler. Actually, this was a bad attack, I just realized. Because uh, they can just eat up my Mauler with the... Yep, they did exactly that. So now I have to kill the Hydra instead of the Masked Vandal. All right, so we're going to kill the Hydra here. Maybe this was a fine attack. I don't know. And now we'll cycle the Gloomfang Mauler. Go grab a Bog. We'll play the Bog. And then flashback Faithless Looting. So we can hardcast. No, we're, we're short of hardcast Crusher. All right, I'm going to discard Exhumed Lotus Petal. I'm playing this for the long game. My plan is hardcast Troll. Maybe draw Dark Ritual. Play the Ulamog's Crusher. They're going to make me lose five here. No blocks. I'll take six if they use the Timberwatch Elf. They decide not to. Another Masked Vandal. Okay. Play Troll of Kazadoom. I am running out of time. They drew lead the Stampede. All right. Uh, I'm just going to concede here. <sighs> the game got away. I wonder if Casting of the Fire is even good here. Like, we didn't see any one toughness elves. But I'm sure they're in there. Get rid of Duress. We don't need that. I don't think Scrub Work Mod just like doesn't do a whole lot here. And then like maybe one copy of Dark Ritual. It's either that or don't bring in. How about this? On the play, we don't want Cast into the Fire. And if I see a bunch of one toughness creatures, we'll bring it in for game three. Because on the play, I don't want a reactive card anyway. I want to be proactive. Game number two, we're on the play. So we have Crusher. I don't have anything that reanimates, though. I think we keep this. It's slow once again. Like, I have to cycle Troll for the Geothermal Bog and then wait a turn to looting. But we have the most important card in the matchup, so I think we keep this. We'll cycle the Troll of Kazudum. They're probably holding open Generous Ent. Grab Geothermal Bog. Spirit Guide. I'm just going to play the Bog and pass. We could also theoretically look at hard casting Ulamog's Crusher, which seems a little crazy. But if I draw another Dark Ritual, it's in the realm of possibilities. They did not cycle a Generous End. 
Vindhorn Elves, okay. Mountain. Let's play Faithless Looting. So I have the Ulamox Crusher. I think we're supposed to just take it here. We will discard Dark Ritual. Exile Simeon Spirit Guide. Actually, I don't need to Exile Simeon Spirit Guide. I should have kept the Dark Ritual then. We'll Plague Zoom. And here comes them cycling Generous End. I mean, it was pretty telegraphed because there's no way that you play Findhorn Elves on turn two after holding open um, the mana. Like, unless you exactly drew it that turn, but the odds seem low. But well, let's see if our Crusher can beat a Generous End. They play a land, Priest of Titania. So they're short one power here and a Well Wisher. Okay. We rip the Drown in Sorrow. That was perfect. Drown in Sorrow. So you might be saying, why not wait to do this until after uh, you attack? We'll keep the other Crusher on top. Because this also gets smaller, so now they have to sacrifice lands. They sacrifice the Generous End. We'll play the Swamp, pass the turn. Wow, that was an amazing draw there. Another Priest of Titania. And I'm definitely going to want the cast into the Fires. Okay. Let's attack with Crusher. Now they're at six. Let's Faithless Looting. We found Dread Return. That's great. We'll play the Swamp. Dread Return on Ulamog's Crusher. Looks like we've stolen this game. Hey, sorry about that. I had to go do a quick thing. Our opponent played Winding Way into four creatures. So all of a sudden it looks like they're sort of back into this game. We'll swing. They have to annihilate four. And they concede. Okay. We definitely want cast into the fire. I think it just has to be scrap work mutts. We'll try this. The riskiest hand. I mean, if you draw land, it is a turn one troll of Kazadoom. But I'm not sure that's actually even good enough. So we will take a mulligan. Oh my. Looks like we're going to five here. Like, you can pray that you draw into troll of Kazadoom with this hand. I'm sorry. Um, Ulamog's Crusher. Because if you do, this hand is amazing. Maybe I should keep it. It's just that the Faithless Looting Bricks, you lose the game. But this could be a turn one Ulamog's Crusher. Honestly, I'd take any of the creatures. We have 12 of them I could draw into between our draw step plus two copies or two looks off of Faithless Looting. Maybe this is a keep. All right, so we have to bottom the Neonate here. I would love, Dak, please carry me to the Promised Land. Give me an Ulamog's Crusher here. Another Dread Return. Okay. Faithless Looting. We hit a Mauler. Okay. So, Dread Return and Mauler. We'll play Swamp. Play Lotus Petal. Dark Ritual. And turn one, seven, seven Menace. Pass the turn. They cycle Generous End. Cast into the Fire is the card I think I want to draw the most here. Winding Way. It's Priest of Titania, Generous Scent, Quirion Ranger, and a Forest. That's pretty scary here. Cast into the Fire. Please be on top of my deck. Troll of Kazudum will cycle that. So now I'd also take a... What is it called? Uh, Drown in Sorrow. So there's seven cards I'd like to draw now. They're at 13. Land number three. Llanowar Elves, Priest of Titania. Yep, so I need to draw one of those sweepers. Another troll. We'll attack for seven. We'll exile Simeon Spirit Guide, flashback Faithless Looting. Discard the two creatures. Play the land. All right, we're in trouble. They have Priest of Titania online. Bindhorn Elves. It's five man on the table. We know that they have Aquarian Ranger in their hand. So they can make a lot of mana this turn. There they go. There they go. They can make a ton of mana this turn. Oh my. If they have the Hydra, I think I lose. If they replay the forest. They have the Hydra. Oh, come on. I needed to draw a cast into the fire that turn. The turn one Mauler was not good enough. I suppose if they draw... It's a Venging Hunter? Okay. I mean, if I draw Drown in Sorrow, I'm still in this. Okay, well, Generous End plus Avenging Hunter means I'm probably just dead. Wow. We drew a land. I had to be turn one Ulamog's Crusher. We'll pass. 
they make their generous engine to a 7-9. And now they're adding 16 mana to their mana pool. 21 mana to their mana pool. Just play the Hydra so I can concede, please. And there it is. We are dead. Brutal. I mean, we had a fast start. It was not fast enough, unfortunately. So no 5-0 trophy in this video. But 3-1 isn't bad. Let's see if we could just win match number 5 and finish this with a strong finish. Welcome to Gold Saber 2's Commander Pantheon Collection. Exclusive art now on playmat shirts and stickers. You can choose from iconic commanders such as Rod Rack Silas and many different vibrant colors. Not to mention, these products are all printed on the highest quality materials. Don't miss out on limited edition merchandise and get sweet rewards when you back this project on Kickstarter. Want to know more? Check out the Kickstarter link in the description or pinned comment down below. We are on the draw for the fifth and final round. Here we've opened up a hand that is just very slow and clunky. We will take a mulligan. This is better. We'll keep bottom a swamp. They play a turn on bridge. So this is probably the brood scale combo deck. We'll play swamp, pass. Yeah, this is definitely brood scale. So this is a matchup where you heavily prefer having Lubmox Crusher to anything else. We will cycle the Troll of Cause of Doom. Grab a swamp. And we drew the crusher. That was great. All right. So we'll play the spirit guide. Play neonate. Discard crusher and hopefully draw into dark ritual or exhume. Spirit guide. So I can play dread return next turn. So we'll play geothermal bog and pass. They play a rumble. And another bridge. We draw a lotus petal. We'll play lotus petal. Dread Return on Ulamog's Crusher. Hope that the pressure from Crusher is enough to carry us to victory. It was a little slow for this matchup. There's the Brood Scale. Do you have Sadistic Glee? They do, so this game's over. Okay, our Crusher was too slow. Unfortunate. I don't think we even sideboard. I think we just resubmit and try to be a better combo deck. Game number two on the play. Ah... Uh, I don't think we're allowed to keep this. Mulligan. So you have Crusher, but no way to discard it and no reanimation effect. We are going to five. I don't think I'm allowed to keep this. We have to go to four. It's not very good. Okay, four cards. Not loving my odds. Played you a thermal bog and pass. So how we win this game is I draw Crusher. We play the Mutt and then draw a land. They play Twisted Landscape. That's not going to do it. I think we just have to pass here. They search out Swamp, Forest, into Icker Wellspring, Duress. Okay. Snuff outs. Out the wazoo. All right, so we'll take a deadly dispute here. I think the plan just shifted to try to put a black creature into play. So that means we don't have to hold the Scrapwork Mud anymore. They play a bridge, Faithless Looting, we'll play that. Discard Simeon Spirit Guide and Scrapwork Mutt. Play the land, pass. They play Cleansing Wildfire, another Faithless Looting. We'll bring back the Scrapwork Mutt, discard the Faithless Looting. We draw another Exhum that does not help me here, Swing. They cast an Insight on the end step. I'm afraid to say that I think our deck kind of just did not function here in the final round. Yep. And if they have a Glee, I lose. Another Cleansing Wildfire. I'm going to concede. We're way too far behind. They still have seven cards in their hand. Ah, not the finish I wanted to this league. That said, the deck felt very good. I mean, even the Elves round that we lost, we were one draw away a couple times from winning that. So... I'm not terribly upset. I think this deck performed quite well today. A thought that I did have during the Elves match is, should I be trying to cram Snuff out into the 75 somewhere? It'd probably in the, be in the sideboard, but I'm not sure what you'd actually cut for it because you need Pyroblast versus Blue. Unexpected Fangs is kind of necessary against Red. Uh, Drown and Sorrow is for all those creature matchups, including Red. And then you have to have Cast into the Fire for things like... Nile Spellbomb or Relic of Progenitus, that sort of thing. So I'm not sure how you would possibly fit in Snuff Out. Um, 
it's just a thought, but you could do it. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed Rakdos Turbo Reanimator here on Halloween. Well, day before or day after. I'm not sure when this is going to release, but thank you. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day and as always, keep storming. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. After you do that, open up our description where you can find all of our social media networks, including our Discord, where you can discuss today's deck in that Discord with me and tons of other combo masterminds. It's absolutely free to join, and it's certainly worth your while.